Hi Skunk Works fans and Skunk Works 4D. I am here to walk you through my contemporary fusion jazz flux and I often even use it for my adult musical theater and some other classes, plie. It's a really great basic plie. Um, it's really great again for all styles essentially of the contemporary jazz modern type of form. I'm extremely geared towards the intermediate, intermediate, advanced dancer, but I also use it for my adult classes, and anyone is welcome to follow along with it. So really nice and easy. We're gonna start in a basic parallel first, two feet directly underneath us, really pulling up in those kneecaps, engaging our navel through our spine, all the way out through our head. And once again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk it through nice and easy without music this time around and then I'll do it with music as well. So we're going to start with our arms on back, lifting through our spines. We're going to go demi plie. One, two to the right, bring the arm down. Three and four. We go left. Five, six and a seven and eight. Simple. We're going to plie, really moving the arms. One, widen all the way through the center. Two, find a nice V. Three, behind our center, four, up and forward, I call this the eagle. Five, over six, gonna roll it up from our abdominals, finding that nice contraction. Seven, and eight, a little rise, one, two, through our spines, three, four, come down, five, six to second, seven, and eight, nice and easy to the right, one, Two, let the arm come down. Three and four. Other side, five. Six, we go seven. And eight, we go on deep in two. Open three, behind four. Up and forward, five, six, more navel. Seven and eight, expand through the back of the knees. One, lift two, three. Nice rally, baby, go come down, five. Six, two, first, seven, and eight, easy, one, two, and come down, three, and four, to the left, five, six, and find those abdominals again, lift through the spine, we go, one, deep in two, open, three, behind, four, up and forward, five, six, roll it up, seven, and eight, we go, a little rise, one, two, Three, four, come down, five, six, two, second, seven, here we go, again, one, two, and a three, deepening into our legs in second, we go, five, six, and a seven, and eight, easy, one, deep into, open, three, behind the four, up and forward, five, we roll it up, seven, and eight, we go through the abdominals, one, lift, two, three, four, come down, five, six, go back to parallel first, if you would like, you can start on the left side to go one, two, nice and easy, yeah? Basic counts to remember, two counts for each arm, one, two, three, four, left, five, six, seven, eight, you have one deep in two to find that V, behind three, up and over on the four, you're gonna roll it up, five, six, seven, eight, one, here's the hard count, you rise up on two, three, four, come down the five, six, a little time, do seven and eight, and those are your basic counts throughout the entire plie, nice and easy. A few different tidbits I just would like to give you, you know, if you've ever taken class with me, especially at Skunk Work Stance, um, you'll hear me talk about this idea of muscle movement. How much muscle, how much resistance do we have to create to make the shape and find the quality that we're looking for while still getting the ease of motion? And plie, especially with it often being one of our first exercises of a class, you actually do want to create a decent amount of resistance so your body can literally start to warm its muscles up to be fully ready for the rest of class. So within my own body, I tend to feel what I call the 60 to 70% of muscle movement. So again, if zero is nothing, right? Anything here. If 100, right, is me not being able to move, that's 60 to 70% 
field is generally where I like to feel my muscle movement and plie. Another great image that you might like to use in terms of muscle movement, especially in terms of plie, if you've ever gone swimming and tried to move through that pool, right? It's that really clear resistance, but you'll also feel light and it floats. And that's that sensation as we do our plie, you want that resistance like you're in a pool, like you're in a pool of water, but at the same time, it's light and it's flowing. One other tidbit for you to think about as well is the engagement of the lower body, the pulling up of the kneecaps. Obviously, if you have hyperextension, to let the knees bend a little bit to find that neutral center of the legs. But again, everyone engaging through those kneecaps to find the stretched and again, that supported knees. You can also think about it as expanding through the back of the knees to open up. And then again, nice and easy, wrapping that turnout, even in a parallel position, you can still be parallel and find that nice wrap sensation that's pulling you up and out through your spine, lifting up through your head to support you through the lower body as well. And that is my plie. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you go to the next video, you will see that I'm going to do the plie with music and feel free to join along. Thank you.